Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video with me, the King of the Funkos. I hope you're well and today we have another Mail Day Monday. Um, as I said, I have been waiting on pop culture and I have actually purchased another signed Funko. Um, so they are both here. We also have a nice big parcel down here. It isn't necessarily my um, actual um, pops, but I actually um, have gathered a load of pops for a friend um, that has purchased a massive collection, a part of my uh, collection. Um, so I'm taking it up to him when um, I finally meet. Um, so to start with, we will go with this. This should be our um, signed Funko. And then we will prey on pop culture. And when I say prey, it's purely because um, we are hoping that they're not melted inserts. Like I've seen a lot of people's lately. So hopefully, um, fingers crossed, that doesn't happen. Because um, I might cry, if I'm honest. So let's try and get into this. Now I want this for... £70 all in, I think, um, which I think was a good price for what um, it actually is, so let's just get this open, hopefully I can, just trying to get open this, right, let's just try and slice this away without damaging the pop, so it is in a pop protector, it does have um, Beckett certification, which is always nice. But we have um, James Jude Courtney signed Michael Myers Funko. So this is definitely a pop that I'm very um, happy to have. Um, and as I said, it does have its Beckett certification. Um, but James Jude Courtney is the current Michael Myers from um, Halloween Kills and the new Halloween that is coming out, I think, this year. Or well, actually, might just be out now. Um, but I haven't looked at the trailer because apparently the new trailer spoils how, Hallow um, how Michael Myers actually survives. So I purposely haven't looked um, at it yet. But when I saw this um, up for auction, I had a choice of this one um, or... A different Michael Myers, well it's the same Michael Myers but just different um, actor and I can't remember who it was but it was the actor that played um, in Halloween 5 um, and for me apart from the OG Halloween and the new Halloweens I don't actually particularly like 3, 4 or 5 um, so this was a definite when I had one um, but like I said I won it for £62 plus £8 postage which I didn't mind um, but this is another signed Funko to add to the collection, which is pretty sick. Um, now, I don't mind adding those sort of Funkos to my collection because they are Funkos that I really do want. I have a couple of horror um, signed Funkos, um, mainly from like um, bedtime stories. Um, now, we have this. Doesn't look like they're melted, I don't think. I don't know. I don't want to look yet. I'm, I'm actually quite scared to check. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay, this has got some extreme damage, um, unfortunately, but we have the 65th um, anniversary um, Cheshire Cat, this is one that I did need, um, but unfortunately it, um, has kind of, um, hit some horrible, um, damage, um, which kind of sucks, but, um, I'm sure I can message them and see what they can do. Then, this is one that I've been waiting for, um, for quite some time. As everyone knows, I collect the Sam Trick or Treat Pops, and we have the new Sam trick or treat um pop from um trick or treat what a stupid uh, thing to say but um as you can't see because it's behind um ron um we have all the sams so the og sam the deluxe sam and the new sam with his 
candy stick, I think. Um, and now we have un basically unmasked Sam. And please don't have damage on this one. Because this is the one that I really wanted. Okay, we're, we're good on this. We have the 65th anniversary Dumbo the Flying Elephant attraction. This is the last big one. There is some damage, it's just here, but that really doesn't bother me. I'm not that fussed about that. Um, uh, the main thing was I didn't want a melted insert. That was the main concern for me. Um, but nonetheless, um, we do have some great pops added to the collection. This now means I only need one more 65th anniversary pop from what I'm aware of. And if I'm correct, correct in saying it's Pluto train, if I, I if I am correct, um, but I will double check that. But this adds to the big pops and the last big pop that we actually needed. So that is it for the Melody Monday. Like I said, it wasn't massive, but it was a bit of fun. Hopefully um, I can try and um, get this a little bit less um, battered. Um, or worst case scenario, just try and buy a box for it. Um, because that's all it is, it's just a box. The insert itself is fine, um, but we just need a new box really to try and get away from this. Um, but I'm happy nonetheless, even if this is what I've got to have, um, I'm sure I can find another one down the line. Um, but I definitely do want a different box if I can, because it's the front. If it was the back, I wouldn't have cared. But the front um, has taken a bit of a battering. Um, but that is it. Let me know what your favourite was. Um, for me, it has to be my Michael Myers. I love my signed Funkos. Um, but let me know what yours was. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And of course, um, like if you like what you've seen. And until next time, guys, I shall see you all very soon.